Haunted Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be making, as you can see up here, a DIY mushroom tray. And yeah, uh, exactly what that says. I don't typically, you know, use uh, the J's, uh, as you know, that I am a gardener. And um, I figured I've been seeing a lot about air dry clay and I wanted to make my own homemade thing and so I thought of this idea because I've been wanting to get more room decor stuff and I don't want to just go to five below and spend bank at five below I really really want a mushroom trinket tray just so that I could put all of my um, like daily jewelry in as you can see I'm not wearing any right now it's just because I don't see it every day it's like if it's if I don't see it I'm not gonna be attracted to it I guess in a sense so um, making this mushroom tray will allow me to put jewelry pieces in so then the next day I can go to that and be like what do I want to wear today so yeah so I decided to get myself some air dried clay and I am just going to make this kind of like a little vlogish thing this week um, in making this because it will be a couple of day process. This will take about two to three days to actually dry um, with the clay and then after that we can paint it. So this will be like a two-in-one video of us actually doing the clay part now and then in a couple of days on like Thursday I will be doing the painting part and then letting it dry for a day and then I'll have a trinket tray for the long weekend and moving forward into September which holy crap it's already freaking September and I finally opened this okay so I did try to like kind of work with it the other day but I was like this is gonna be I want to save it for a video so yeah, so I've kind of started to do something here. I don't really know. I don't know how I'm gonna form this mushroom here, but we're gonna try our best. And I'm hoping not to use all of the clay either because I'm honestly thinking about making more of these <laughs> because I've been seeing stuff all over and I might wanna make a dragon one for my boyfriend and stuff. So. Um, there'll definitely be more DIYs with this in the future, for sure. Um, it's just going to take a while. Now, I was going to set up my phone so you guys could see what I'm doing and all of that. Um, technology just doesn't want to work with me today. <laughs> so, you'll just see me kind of moving the camera. This will feel like we're on a video call or something. And, um, yeah, we're just making trays together you know here's day one of making the tray right now I'm just trying to like kind of form the shape of a mushroom um, right now um, I did bring some water in case because it did say that if you needed to kind of move some things or whatever um, or connect things then you would need water to help secure the pieces to stay together so um, I brought some water for that and once I kind of form this and everything and figure out how I want to do this um, I think I'm going to let it dry over here on this table for the next couple of days so that it can dry and then we can get started with the actual painting part which I'm so excited about that sounds very exciting to me you know like I gotta make sure that I remember to make it so then there's like you know a, a base in here so this is kind of what we're working with so far <laughs> not a whole lot but it's okay um but we are getting there slowly but surely i am also chill right now because i did a little wake and bake you know and uh it's monday the only thing i had to do today was really just kind of clean up the house from the weekend and then I did my laundry and then the only other thing I have to do is just kind of figure out my plan for the week which I kind of already did um, if you guys head over to my Instagram calling all artists here um, it's that time of year again where I try to get some artists together uh, to do a star sketch 
calendar uh, 2024 Star Sketch collab calendar. There we go. The right wording and sequencing there. So if you are an artist or like to draw or anything like that and have access to creating digital art or you don't even have to even have access to making digital art, I will even take pictures. Um, I would say pretty good resolution resolution pictures, I should say, um, for anyone that would like to be a part of the collab. So I just need 11 other artists. Um, how I normally do it is I just kind of, you know, first come first serve. And then once it's filled up, you guys will see that on my Instagram. Or if you try to DM me, then I'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I already filled all the spots, but I will definitely keep you in mind for other collaboration so if you would like to do this collaboration with me definitely dm me on instagram that's where we'll be doing most of our uh promotional stuff for it and getting things planned out i'll make an, a group chat on there and um so yeah so if you would like to be i don't like how this is turning out so we're gonna start over but if you would like to be a part of that um whole process you know um, then definitely, definitely check me out on Instagram and DM me and be like, yo, I would like to be a part of that Star Sketch collab calendar. And I'd be like, sick, let's do it. Um, so yeah, well, technically it's the 2025 calendar if you really think about it. So yeah, cause last year I didn't do one and I kind of missed doing it. And I think it'd be really exciting if we did one this year going into 2025. So yeah so definitely hit me up over on Instagram if you're interested I followed a few people recently um, so if you're checking out my YouTube video now and you're like why the heck did she follow me hi I miss collaborating with y'all artists out there I miss collaborating I miss working with other artists that was a big thing when I started star sketch in the first place was that I really 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 wanted to include other artists into my uh, products, pieces, etc. Because I love seeing and collaborating with other artists in the community. Um, just our different art styles coming together is just so cool. I even did this um, other collab, which I featured on my story recently on Instagram. I did a 420 collab, which was awesome. I still have my piece hanging on my wall. And it was just such a fun experience of just like working with these other artists, some of which I never heard of. So I didn't start this collab. I was actually reached out to um, by someone on Instagram and they decided to put it all together and they did it through Instagram DMs. And some people got their piece done, some people didn't, but you know, life happens. Um, but it was just such a fun, fun collab. And um, I haven't heard or seen any of those people since, to be honest. It kind of just happened, and then we all kind of moved on with our lives, in a sense. So, um, I miss that. I want to make my own little community of doing collaboration things. So, again, if any of you are interested in, you know, um, doing a collab, aka the the calendar star sketch collab calendar for 2025 which is insane i start uh, getting people together now so then in september we can start you know figuring out who's going to do what month and what theme you're going to do for that month i like to do that so then everyone has their own personal touch to it of just you know like october do you want to do spooky or do you want to do like horror or do you want to do like just Halloween or you want to just do fall like I let you do what you want to do because at the end of the day I'm working together with you and I don't want to be like super in charge of it all <laughs> if that makes sense um and I want to be able to have people give their own creative freedom when it comes to it you know and just kind of do their own thing like for example um, Chelsea's creative coloring here on YouTube and I uh, have done collaborations before not even just in the art world but uh, with buddy colors even and she decided to do for her month of October she chose she just wanted to make a witch girl so that was fun 
and I still have that calendar somewhere in my collection. I would get it now, but I'm in the middle of pottery making, uh, which by the way, here is my progress so far. Just slowly trying to work it together. Um, and then also try to make it deep so then I can actually put said um, jewelry pieces in there. And I'm trying to make the stem as funky and long as I want it to be. But yeah, this is slowly but surely coming together. <laughs> um, just like how the calendar will slowly but surely come together. And I cannot wait to do it again. Um, and it's just so cool to have all these artists collaborate on an amazing project. Yes, sales can be kind of tough to get, but you know, we do our best and you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's just cool to collaborate with other artists and getting your name out there. So again, if you are interested in being a part of the collaboration of creating a calendar with other amazing artists then definitely DM me on Instagram and maybe some friendships will form even um, and then you guys can do your own collaborations and such that's the cool part about it that I'm like I really want to do this you know uh, so now I'm just trying to smooth out everything not trying to keep any lumps and bumps in there and then once that's done I think I'm done with shaping it and I'm just gonna let it dry for a couple of days and then come Wednesday night or Thursday um, we will get to working on this kind of just depends on you know said size too this is not gonna be too too big so I think this will only take about a couple days uh, two two and a half days to dry but we shall see I will keep you updated almost done here with part one <laughs> only took us about 12 minutes um, so be prepared that this video might be a half an hour to an hour long <laughs> you'll already see that but slowly and then I'm just gonna wipe this down I'm gonna wash my hands after but there's my little mushroom shape and again, once we get to Thursday or Wednesday night, we will continue working on this and making it look like a cute little mushroom. I am so excited. So part one done. I will see you guys all in a couple of days. Hey everyone, it's been a couple of days. It is now Wednesday. Um, it only took about two days for this to completely harden. Like I could like, you know, I'm going to be very gentle with it still, but this is what it looks like right now. I love it. It's so freaking cute. And now is the part where we get to paint it. Uh, so yeah, if you decide to also do a mushroom like this size, it'll take like two days. So just to let you know, just so then you're aware. Um, but yeah, I am just going to be, I have all these like new brushes, brand new brushes that I got for my birthday. So I will be just using those to create the mushroom. So I'm gonna start off with Scarlet, and that's going to be like the head of the mushroom here. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with that. Um, and I am using these uh, Peter Popper paints. I have a bunch of different paints in here. I have Peter Popper paints. I even have um, Artist Loft paints. I will need the white actually, so that'll be useful. Uh, so if you're wondering what kind of paint I'm using, that's the kind of paint I'm using. Um, but yeah, uh, the past couple of days, I have been working my butt off for Star Sketch stuff. I have a vendor event next weekend. So that's when I go into grind mode is like literally the couple weeks beforehand um, to prep for it. But yeah, basically, uh, everything is pretty much ready to go except for my mini trippy shroomies coloring book that I'm making. I haven't made a new coloring book in forever and I've been really inspired by mushrooms as you could tell. Um, 
So yeah, I decided to make a um, mini coloring book, Troopy Shroomies one. Um, it'll be available the day of the vendor event, which is Worcester Pride. But um, I will be selling a digital copy and possibly doing a pre-order thing for the physical copies if I get enough interest. Uh, so let me know if you would be interested in something like that. Um, getting a physical copy rather than a digital copy. But if it's a digital copy, you can still print it out yourself. Um, and whatever page, page that you want to do that day, for instance. You don't have to print out the whole book if you don't want to, or you can. Um, totally up to you and what you prefer to do, basically. Um, but yeah, so those, those will be some options. So that will be coming out the week of uh, September 9th. So be excited for that. I also have a ton of new uh, products to introduce that week. Basically, whatever doesn't sell at my vendor event um, will be going for sale on my shop after the event. But I'm hoping to sell the new paintings and stuff that I've been making. But we shall see. Uh, but yeah, I'm just doing my my painting. I don't think I'm going to do red on the outside. I think I'll do a different color as like the border. But all of this is definitely going to be red. As you can see, oh, it's so freaking cute. Uh, highly recommend doing this if you want to make your own little tray, little trinket tray, or you can even make your own ashtray with this um, if that floats your boat. I just don't have a use for an ashtray right now. I just don't really use uh, that kind of stuff. So I'm just like, eh. I mean, I was th thinking about making my own pipe with this, but um, I don't know how sanitary that would be, putting that up to my mouth and everything. So I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Uh, but I thought a little trinket tray or a little jewelry tray in this case for me would be perfect because I've been trying to find like a mushroom little tray thing and I haven't really found one that I'm like super in love with. So I decided to make my own. So that's exactly what you could do if you like or like, oh, I can't find something that is like this that I've been wanting to have in my room. Just make it yourself. It's probably going to not only one, be more satisfying to make it yourself because you're like, you could show off to your friends like, oh, I made this, you know, um, instead of being like, oh, I got this from Five Below. You know what I mean? Like the excitement of making something and being like excited to show others. It's just a really cool feeling. So I've been trying to do that more recently. Um, and you're probably gonna wanna have this dry for a few hours um, before you put anything in it. So I'm gonna let this dry for the day um, and then put some jewelry in it later on. And I will definitely post to my Snapchat later of my jewelry in my little trinket tray here so definitely go follow my snapchat if you haven't already I've been mentioning it a lot in my videos um, but trying to be more active on there so definitely go follow me on snapchat and if you would like to feel free to add me as a friend I love chatting with you guys on there um, just catching up on your life and such I also might post this to my discord server if you haven't yet and you have a discord definitely go join my server uh, trying to be more active on there as well. And yeah, so just all the things, <laughs> you know the drill. Um, this is just honestly really satisfying to paint, to be honest with you guys. I'm like, look at this. <sighs> it's gonna be so cute. I, um, I'm literally so excited to finish this. Um, I wanted to see how this would go so that I could see if I wanted to create my own clay stuff in the future. Um, and I did really enjoy doing it. I definitely feel like I need some more practice. I just kind of did this on a whim. But I feel like if I learned like through Pinterest on how to make those like bowls or something, like make an evil eye bowl or a, you know, mushroom bowl or something, um, that would be really fun to learn. So that's something I'm excited to start learning more about I guess because this was definitely like 
it wasn't hard per se it was just different you know what I mean so I was just like not really prepared to um, I guess just start making a mushroom tray like I didn't really know what I was doing but it's okay because <laughs> we live and we learn and you know um, but I really like it so far I feel like it's super cute all right, this will be like the under belly of the mushroom. So, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing down in the description box below. Description box? No, the comment section. <laughs> Uh, let me know how you guys are doing down below. I'm actually not chill right now, which is surprising. Well, not really surprising. I mean, it's not like I've been trying to cut back. I've just been trying to be more mindful with the consumption that I've been doing. And today I do have therapy later. And I'm the type of girl that doesn't like to go to therapy high. Uh, so I save it for later. And plus, I'm getting a re-up later, a.k.a. Um, Basically, my supplier, a.k.a. my dad, is going to the store, if you get what I'm saying, the um, the plant store to get my supplies. So that should be interesting. Um, so I'm excited for that later to get some new stuff. Um, but yeah, what do I want to do for the stem? I want to make it, mm, should I just go with brown or should I go with like something more fun than that. I feel like I should go with maybe this color. This is a crimson. Hmm. But mushrooms usually have like a white base or something. Maybe I should go with pink. Ooh, like this color. Permanent rose maybe. I don't have a lot left of it, so that might be good for the stem. Yeah, let's go with that. I have been, what has it been your um, music obsession lately? Like, what's been your, like, go-to music lately? Because mine changes all the time. But recently, I have been really into um, Charlie XCX's... Um, brat album i've just been absolutely loving it and um i literally listen to the album front to back like in order all the time now <laughs> it's just such a good album like i didn't think that i would be like a charlie xcx fan until now like i love her music like it's just so i don't know it's fun but also there's a couple, like, sadder songs in it, and, like, the emotion around it is just, like, wow. Because I've been trying to take a break from Melanie lately because of the whole, um, the whole thing with Timothy that she's in. So, I haven't really made my, um, I haven't really made my decision yet of whether or not to support her still or not um I still love her music and sometimes you just have to separate the art from the artist doesn't mean that I support her and what she did but maybe I could still like her music I don't know are any of you following that what should I do I don't really know a whole lot of information either I've just been seeing videos online and stuff so if there's more like concrete um like evidence or anything please let me know so I can make my decision because I don't want to just be like yeah I'll leave her and then something comes out and then I'm like oh I'll come back and then I just look like a fake fan I don't know I don't want to be that person because I've loved her music I've loved her crybaby era I love her portals era now and all of that and I'm obsessed it's just so hard to see when artists kind of mess up with their life and make a really big mistake yes it was in the past too 
And that's another thing to keep in mind is that this was something that happened a long time ago. And I know Melanie has really done a lot of work since then. And I have definitely been, you know, the type of person that worked on herself for a very long time um, before I decided to come back to social media and stuff like that. We're back in the spotlight anyways. And I feel like Melanie did that. And, but now she's getting backlash because of this other person that decided to bring it back up once she brings out, like, her new art, I guess you could say, her music, uh, Portals album and such. I don't know, it's just been a whole thing. So, I don't know where it's gonna go, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I still love her music, to be completely honest with you. Um, so I'm conflicted, <laughs> is what's really what's come down to it. I am very conflicted about what to do. So if you know anything or anything at all about the whole entire thing, please let me know in the comments so you can help me make my decision. Uh, so I decided to cover over a little bit of the under part, but look at that, that's so freaking cute. Um, okay, I'm not gonna use that brush and I'm gonna put this away. Um, I think I'm gonna do the white dots now, um, aka the little circle, so I have a little paintbrush here, and then we'll do the edge, and then we're gonna be pretty much done, which is so exciting. Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. So, by the way, if you're having trouble opening your paints, little life hack here, in case you didn't know, you use the back of the cover to poke it, and then the paint just comes out, so... Uh, instead of peeling that little paper off. So yeah, life hack. A lot of people probably already know that, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I've been obsessed with shrooms lately. Shroomies, as I like to call them. Mushrooms. Um, you might Now you might be asking, Ara, do you indulge in such a uh, drug, I guess? No, I I have once before, but not in a very long time. I think it's been a couple of years since then. I would do it again. I'll be real with you. I would definitely do it again. I just want to do it with people, though, and with the right people, for sure. Um, the right friendship group. And I, I have an idea of who I would, you know, consume it with, but... Um, it's all about planning. It's all about making sure that we're, you know, safe and have a, um, is it a good environment and all that kind of stuff. So that's definitely something that I have learned because I've done it alone only. And, uh, it was, it was interesting to say the least. I will say that. Um, a lot of stuff from my past brought up and stuff so it was just like whoa so it kind of just opened up a thing for me that I was like whoa this is maybe a little bit too much and definitely not something I want to do on a daily basis and I think it was around that time when I realized that um trees were more my thing <laughs> uh, but anywho but I just love mushrooms in general there's actually a mushroom growing in my lawn currently which is interesting because we typically don't get mushrooms, but yeah. Um, it's just the one big giant white one just kind of chilling in my yard. My dogs are constantly, you know, being like, what is that? And like going over to sniff it and stuff. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. I thought it was like an egg or something and then I kicked it a little bit, like kind of just like tap kicked it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it was definitely a mushroom, so... I was like, oh, little mushroom guy in the yard. Um, I will probably have to rake it down tomorrow when I mow the lawn and stuff. Um, whenever I decide to do that. But yeah. So that will be interesting. <laughs> Any nature discoveries for you? Any of you out there? <laughs> Um, I also saw this uh, story time. I was going outside to get chill. 
and while also putting my dog out because he was needing to go to the bathroom. And so I was like, oh, you can come out with me. Uh, so I put him on his runner and I go to the back and at the corner of my eye, I see a flash of orange go from behind my dog's doghouse, which is on one side of the yard, to behind the shed, which is on the opposite side of the yard. And I was like, what the heck was that? So I literally went over to the shed, looked everywhere, and I didn't find anything. I didn't see any creatures. I looked under. We have some, like, greenery growing behind the shed, which needs to be taken care of. But um, I tried looking under that and stuff. I didn't see it at all. It must have just scurried away or whatever. But then I immediately texted my boyfriend, like, do foxes come out during the day? Like, I don't know. I don't know much about foxes, to be completely honest with you. Um, I always just thought that they were more nocturnal than came out during the day. And he's like, yeah, sometimes they, they come out. And so I was like, yeah, I think I just saw a fox <laughs> go under, uh, go behind my shed. He's like, whoa, that's crazy. And I'm like, I don't know for sure because it was just a flash. But it also, I told it to my parents later on that day and my dad said our groundhog has that kind of coloring so it could have been our little groundhog friend we have a single dad with a, a baby um in our yard and unfortunately the mama did pass away we found her like not alive in my yard it was very sad we had to like call a guy to get it and the guy ended up never coming so we had to take care of it ourselves but it was very very sad just seeing that and I was just like mama no and she was like pregnant too so I don't know or maybe she just had the baby or something because the dad has a baby like a baby to take care of so I don't know what happened I don't know the full story of the groundhogs in my backyard, but we try to make up a story as we go along. Um, also, our bunnies, I don't know about you guys' bunnies near you, wherever you are in the world. Um, if you even have bunnies that come out in the yard, like, at all. But the bunnies we have, they're def they're afraid of humans, for sure, still. But the ones that usually come out, usually just like chill near me while I'm outside chilling um or when I'm getting fried or whatever or gardening you know what I mean um you just kind of like chill at the um like not next to me but like pretty close to me like that I could easily you know see most of its details and stuff so on my snapchat anytime that happens I I post up, be like, Thumper's back. <laughs> I call all of them Thumper. I can't keep track, obviously, of which bunny is which, but I'm always like, Thumper's back. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's fun. It's fun over there. Again, if you're not on my Snapchat, definitely go join it. It's a vibe. It's it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, this is the progress so far. I'm just doing all the little details and such of the mushroom here the little circles and such but yeah again I'm gonna have to let this dry for a few hours so sometime after therapy maybe tonight I'll put some jewelry in to prepare for tomorrow so then I can have some jewelry to wear um tomorrow is cleaning day in my house fun um because I have to babysit Friday. I have to babysit my little niece who doesn't start school till next Wednesday. So after Labor Day weekend because she's in going into kindergarten. But I'll be babysitting her. She's not a big craftsy girl like my other niece, my older niece. She's definitely more, she's definitely going to be more crafty, my older niece for sure. Like every time we hang out. She always wants to color. She always wants to use my art supplies and stuff. Because she's like, God damn it, I want to do stuff like that. But my other niece, Vienna, she's more the active one. She's more the logical brain, the the sporty gal, I guess. So I got to figure out what I want to do with her. 
um, as an activity. I thought about going to get ice cream, but that might be a little bit difficult with uh, the construction on my street. And that's still going on. If you guys remember from my other vlog, it's still happening and it's annoying because I can't like walk anywhere. I miss being able to just like walk to Duncan or walk my dogs even or whatever, but it's really hard to do that when you have construction going on on your street. So I've been just kind of chilling in my own home, I guess. So that hasn't been really fun, but it's fine. We live and, you know, we maneuver around it. Um, hopefully it'll be done soon before winter time so then I can get some walking in before the winter time and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see where the progress is. They're basically paving my whole street, but also doing like some other constructional projects that have been needing to be done. It's annoying. And also school just started today. So like they had to like maneuver around the school bus, uh, school bus routes and stuff. And it's just, it's a whole thing. Um, but yeah, here's the mushroom so far. So freaking cute. I love it. Um, I am going to use some black. I think I'm going to use my black marker maybe. See if that will work. To kind of just differentiate where the head is versus the stem versus, you know, the head of the mushroom. It's a little too harsh on the clay here. See, we live and we learn. I'm learning what mediums I can use on it. <laughs> Where is my... Okay, let's try this uh, Mono Llama marker. Yeah, this is working better. I am so excited for fall, I just have to say, um, mostly because of the fact that, um, you know, it's the time of year, the, you know, holidays are starting and all of that. And it's just really exciting, to be honest, and, uh, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> it's fine. trying to differentiate here where the where the stem is in comparison to the underneath of the mushroom to be honest I'm just gonna do my little lines to indicate the I'm not gonna do them with the marker though oh I could use, maybe use my brush pens yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I use the fine tip side. Oh yes, this is so good. You can use um, acrylic markers on this, but just be very gentle. Because the clay will like peel away it looks like if you put too much pressure on it again like I said this is trial and error for me <laughs> so see I was able to get the gills in there and now do a nice black outline around the uh, stem here And I'm going to do my little trippy design I like to do. It's 
a little bit more difficult with this kind of medium, but again, we live and we learn <laughs> about how to do all this stuff. Sorry, I'm not super talkative while I do this. It's just, you know, I pretend that we are all painting together here, so. <laughs> Almost done with the stem here, and then all we have to do is just the the border of it. Let's see? Oh my god, that's so freaking cute! Look at that! I love it. I love it. Um, and now we're gonna do the sides. I'm gonna see if I can do my brush tip end with like one of these. Oh, we could do gold. Let's try this out. I think gold would be really cool. Oh my goodness. I just have to be really gentle. So I don't like peel the clay, you know? This is so fun. I highly recommend doing this if you're like, I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say is do it. Do it. <laughs> that reminds me of the Game Grumps episode. Those of you that don't know Game Grumps, you're gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. But when they play Mario Party Eight, and uh, you know they're uh, doing a Lord Palpatine impression from Star Wars again. If you have no idea what I'm talking about with that, get caught up on your nerd culture. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, when he's like, do it when. Um, I forget who's holding who to like, should I do it? And then he's like, do it. <laughs> and the Star Wars scene is just, uh, I don't, I'm not a big Star Wars person. I know that that's probably a surprise considering I'm a Disney adult. I mean, I'll watch it. If somebody's like, oh, we're going to watch Star Wars, I'll be like, okay, I'll watch with you. But it's not that something that I would like go out of my way to go watch myself. You know what I mean? Like, I can go out of my way and watch myself, you know, the Disney princess movies or Alice in Wonderland, stuff like that. But Star Wars? Eh. I don't really like watching that alone, <laughs> I guess. It's gonna be all gold on the side. It's gonna be so cute. But I think I'm just going to focus on coloring the rest of this as I talk. I was going to skid off, but I'm like, ooh, I could do like story times and stuff while I talk. Um, let's see. What have I been up to lately? Well, I'm excited for this weekend. Labor Day weekend. I get the house to myself and my boyfriend. And we're going to take care of the dogs and animals in the house and... Kind of just like play house for the weekend. Uh, pretend that we're, like, we're living together. So that should be interesting. For sure. Um, and then Sunday we're going to spend time with his family. Going to a cookout and stuff. If you're wondering, my family's going away for the weekend. And I wanted to save up money. Uh, so I decided to stay home. So yeah. A little staycation if you will. Um, that's been like the theme this year is staycationing, honestly, because when your sibling is going to get married, there's going to be so much things you have to pay for. So, and with the limited income that I have, I'm just like, I gotta save money. So yeah, so I'll just be chilling with my boyfriend and it'll be really fun. I'm doing like a dot motion, by the way, just because that seems to be more gentler on the on the clay here. So that seems to be working out just fine. I've been doing a lot of prep for Worcester Pride, as I was talking about, creating the shroomy stickers and stuff for each of the flags. Been sharing that on my Instagram and such. Just a lot of prep for it, really. 
And then the mini coloring books, like I've been saying, like, uh, so much prep goes into this kind of stuff, but it's so rewarding in the end. Because you're like, I did that, you know. <laughs> Um, what else has been going on, though? I mean, really, it's just preparing for my sister's wedding, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, mainly just focus on Star Sketch right now and saving money and counting down the days until my sister gets married, to be honest. I'm very excited. Um... I've been to weddings before. Uh, let's talk about weddings. Why not? I've been to weddings before. I've been to... My first ever wedding I ever went to was one of my cousin's weddings. And she happened to do a Batman-themed wedding. Because she loves Batman. So that was really interesting. And they pulled it off real well. They still made it like elegant and wedding-like. Uh, it was in Boston. And uh, that was a few years ago. And then I went to another one for my other sister. Um, and she had it at a winery. Very, very fancy. Too much for my taste, to be honest. I mean, looking at all these weddings, I feel like the only one that really uh, was more... None of them were really my style, I should say, actually, now that I think about it. Um... So yeah, my sister's wedding, I was a part of it. That was my first time being a part of a wedding. Um, and I actually was like, I was in charge of carrying my sister's dog, Gypsy, down the aisle, like walk her down too. So that was pretty special. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and I miss Gypsy a lot, rest in peace. I, I miss her to death. And that was probably one of my favorite fond memories with that dog was to be able to walk her down the aisle for her mother, her mother's wedding. But yeah, so that was a fun wedding overall because we were actually like involved in it. Um, it was all gold themed and her Macedonian family came and stuff. And so I got to learn about the culture, but it was just kind of like our so our type of wedding songs would come on and then a Macedonian song would come on so we would sit down and we'd be able to get like a break from dancing and all that. It was interesting. And then I also went to my cousin's wedding which was a couple years ago. Um, and that one was fun. Um, I just remember taking edibles and drinking a lot because I wasn't really involved in the wedding process for that one. It was just more attending it, but it was very nice because my aunt, that was her like first wedding to be a part of, I guess, besides her own in the past. But that one was funny because <laughs> I bought a dress to wear for that wedding, put it on, everything seemed fine. Lesson learned though, always try on clothes when you buy them online before you go to an event. So you don't end up like what happened to me. We were at the, the, you know, getting ready for the bride to walk down the aisle and everything. The groom starts walking down the aisle. As I stand up and everything, and as the groom's walking down the aisle, all of a sudden I feel pop on my back. And let's just say, my whole entire dress is zipper completely just <coughs> didn't want to <coughs> excuse me didn't want to stay closed and uh yeah your girl's whole back was exposed even down to the bottom there so that was really embarrassing uh to say the least thankfully um i had people like holding my dress for me as i was standing up and then when I sat down, I put, like, a cardigan over myself and everything just to kind of uh, protect myself uh, from exposing to everybody. <laughs> and then as soon as the ceremony was done, my mom and I, like, ran inside and asked if we could, like, get 
uh, not bobby pins, safety pins, um, to safety pin up my dress and everything. Um, so that was interesting. And so, yeah, and I had to get it all buttoned up, I guess. I got to see the bridal suite, which was nice. Um, because <laughs> that's where all the safety pins were for just in case for the bride, but she didn't need them. It was more of a guest. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was interesting. And, uh, you know, I was fine after that. I put on the safety pins and my dress stayed secured for the time being, aka for dancing and stuff. Thankfully, it didn't just, like, fly off when I was dancing. Um, but yeah. And then I got really high and really drunk that night. Um, but that was a fun wedding. <laughs> it was just very unfortunate to what happened to my dress. But it was basically my fault that it happened because of the fact that I didn't try it on beforehand and then just went to the wedding kind of blind about the dress and everything. I wanted it to be that color for the theme and everything, so I don't know. It was a whole thing. And, um, yeah, so that happened. And then I went to another wedding for my boyfriend and I's friend's wedding. Uh, we were invited to, which was very nice of her to invite both of us because you know she wanted him to have a plus one aka me so that was really fun we got to go and um the only thing was that i sat down in my chair um it was an outdoor wedding uh for the ceremony and then you went inside for the reception and everything it had happened to rain the night before of the wedding and so when I went in to go uh, to go where the area was where the ceremony was going to take place, I sat down in my chair and I was like, Anthony, I have like a puddle underneath my butt now. <laughs> and it makes it look like that I peed myself. So that was interesting. Um, but it was fine. Thankfully, I was wearing, what was I wearing? I think, I, yeah, I was wearing like a dark blue. So it wasn't like totally noticeable. But still, just, and everyone else's chairs were kind of like that. And it was October at the time, so it was kind of chilly out, or November, one of the two. Um, I think it was October, though. Um, and yeah, so that was interesting. I don't think I would do an outdoory, outdoorsy wedding in, like, the cold weather, especially with, like, rain and such. I don't know. I feel like I would do an all-indoor wedding myself. I don't know. Maybe that'll change in the future. If you guys are wondering what my dream wedding is like, I definitely want it to be Disney love story themed. Um, and I'm hoping to find a place, my dream would be to find a place that the reception room is similar to the ballroom of Beauty and the Beast. That is like my ultimate kind of like um, dream destination wedding is just to make sure that it looks like the Beauty and the Beast hall, uh, where they dance and stuff, and, um, I want my love song to be Tale as Old as Time, and to be able to dance with my, uh, future husband to that song and everything, so, if Anthony's the one, he would definitely be down to doing that, <laughs> But we'll see. Um, and there's some other songs that me and him have on our playlist anyways that we've talked about. You know, if we do end up getting married, those are definitely songs we want to include in our wedding. Just like different slow songs and just different love songs in general. But we want to mix in some Disney love songs as well. And typical wedding, you know, dancey songs and all that, of course. But yeah, um, that's been what's on my mind lately, and I literally just finished the mushroom. Let's see if I can. Gotta let it dry. But this is what the side looks like, and then this is what the inside looks like. Super adorable, super cute. 
Um, I am going to set it down over here on my little table here in front of my other mushrooms, mushroom stickers that I made over there to let it dry. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, definitely go check out my Snapchat so you can go see the final result of it with the jewelry in it and everything. But yeah, I hope that you guys liked this week's video. I know it was a little bit different. Still talkative, but also we were DIYing, so it was very fun. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. And stay positive out there. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys all next week with a new video. Bye, guys.